A banquet is being held in London tonight in honour of a British eye surgeon who 50 years ago today performed the first operation to treat cataracts. Harold Ridley, who's now 93, is credited with pioneering the technique which so far has saved the sight of at least 200 million people around the world. It takes just 20 minutes to perform a cataract operation and every year in the UK, 5 million people have their sight restored in this way. Under local anaesthetic, an artificial replacement is implanted into the lens of the eye, which has been damaged by the cataract. For surgeons and patients, the rewards are immediate. It's a very nice operation to do, actually, because it's one of the very few operations you can do on somebody of 80 and restore their function to that of somebody of 25. You can achieve normal vision very soon after a cataract operation. This is the cataract which I have just removed from this patient's eye. It was 50 years ago to the day that the first cataract operation was performed, but it took decades for the procedure to be accepted by the establishment. Harold Ridley, who had pioneered the technique, persevered, knowing it would help restore sight to millions of people worldwide. It was giving natural sight back to square one, a new pair of eyes. But uh, you know, it is, uh, I've had two cataract operations myself. No one would ever know that I had had cataract surgery. It was while operating on World War II fighter pilots that Mr. Ridley made his groundbreaking discovery and sought a manufacturer to make the artificial lens. This is a wonderful British gentleman who made a fantastic British invention made from British raw material. And yes, a British manufacturer, still going strong. And we have something to celebrate tonight, and that's what we're going to do. Fifty years on, Harold Ridley may not be a household name, but tonight, at the age of 93, his contribution to 20th century medicine is finally being recognised. Carol Jones, BBC News.